Hey Scorpio, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your December reading for the month of December 2020. So let's get right into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know for the month of December 2020? Oh, I gotta put my little crystals back. Um, what do we need to know for the month of December 2020? What are the most important messages for the people that need them the most? Uh, for the sign of Scorpio, anyone with Scorpio placements, of course, guys, this could always resonate at another time, but I'm intending for this reading to show us how and what you need to know about ending the cycle we're in, and that's, you know, ending this year, the year of 2020, and coming into the new year. Um, we're all going to be, you know, ending a massive cycle together, right? So we're going to say goodbye to the old year and welcome in the new year, which I think most of us are going to be very excited about this year to uh, step into a new year. So Scorpio, anyone with Scorpio placements, what's important here? Shaman, trust in higher forces, beautiful. What else do we need to know for the Scorpio reading, please? Scorpio, what's important here? We've got two more. Traitor and Lord. Let's talk about it. All right, so you got shaman, trust in higher forces. You also got traitor, exchange energy to create abundance. That's exchanging energy with the universe. And Lord, take charge with authority. Beautiful. All right, bottom of the deck, you've got seer. See beyond the current situation. All right, so it's time to see beyond the current situation, to trust in the universe and exchange energy with the universe and take charge now. So basically, they're just saying, look, trust in higher forces. Try to see beyond your circumstances. Make sure that you are uh, speaking to your spirit guides, your angels, whoever you believe in, and in exchanging that energy with them just um, take charge with authority as if you expect them to fully help you with whatever you're going through. All right, let's get into it. Um, I want to pull some more oracles. That was angels and ancestors. And we're going to also use um, psychic uh, tarot here, which I, I think it's called psychic tarot, but I call it psychic oracle because to me, they're more like oracle cards. Anyway, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know here, please, for the collective, for anyone who's, or I'm sorry, for Scorpio, for anyone who's guided here to watch this Scorpio reading. Oh, solar plexus chakra. Someone else had solar plexus chakra. I'm trying to remember who it was. Could it have been cancer? It could have been. All right, what else do we need to know here, please? Scorpio, for anyone with Scorpio placements, month of December 2020. How, what would, what do we need to know about ending this um, old year and heading into the new year, please? For anyone, oh, that's way too many. Oh gosh, that's way too many. For anyone with uh, Scorpio placements that will be guided here to watch this reading on YouTube month of December 2020 going into the new year now you got sacral chakra someone definitely needs to um, get balanced uh, someone needs to definitely get some meditation in balance those chakras check out some of those things on YouTube um, the waiting game and suffering and silence is at the bottom all right, something's going on here, Scorpio. You have suffering and silence at the bottom. I don't love that. All right, so guys, it's time to really get those chakras balanced. I don't know. Somebody else had something like this, and I wish I could remember who it was. They really needed to work on their chakras. There's a lot of mantras on YouTube that I love where I just go on and uh do like all this chakra balancing mantras and meditate and it's beautiful and when i get done i feel great check it out guys um you know if you're into that anyway so your your sacral chakra has to do with your sexual desire your self-worth your um, creativity um and your solar plexus has to do with your ego your personality like your internal self and self-love your self-acceptance your emotions 
So I feel like these really, really, um, you've gone through something and one's a two and one's a three and you got another two over here. Um, you've got the waiting game. Okay. So you've been waiting patiently for something. There's something going on. I, I feel like, you know, when I look at this card, we got somebody standing back here caught in like a never ending cycle of something that keeps going on. Somebody is trying to work on uh, roots, work on uh, growth, but I feel like you're, you need to work on these chakras. This is mainly your big problem here, I feel. Um, and again, exchanging energy to create abundance. There's something missing here. I almost feel like somebody had this reading and I wish I could remember who it was. I've done fire signs and I've done cancer and I want to say it could have been a fire sign where they were just missing their mark on a spiritual connection of some sort. Like there was no, they needed to um, connect with spirit, you know, the trader, exchange energy to create abundance. Um, they needed to work on their spirituality. Their, um, they needed to work on their internal selves. It's a lot of this here too, working on your internal self. I feel, like, I'm going to be honest. The waiting game and suffering and silence. I feel like you're waiting for a change, but that change isn't coming because you're not doing the internal work. Um, if this is your reading, of course, always. If if this is not your reading, it's not your reading. But there's somebody here who definitely needs to work on their, um, their chakras for sure. But I also feel like there needs to be some kind of spiritual growth involved here. Some kind of trust in spirit, God, universe. Uh, some kind of exchange of energy. A, a communion of sorts between you and spirit, God, universe. Whoever you believe in. Whatever it is you believe on. Uh, as the seer, it's saying see beyond your current situation. See beyond what there is in the 3D world. See beyond it. Trust in higher forces and take charge with authority. Do something about it. I feel like all this waiting and suffering and silence is going to go nowhere. Nothing's going to happen here. You're still going to be waiting and you're still going to be suffering in silence if you don't physically do something about it. Emotionally do something about it. Maybe even talk to someone who can help you. I feel like whoever I'm talking to is going to be people that have been stuck in a rut, stuck in this um, silent suffering, waiting for something to change that hasn't changed, okay? Um, and, you know, at the bottom of the deck, you have the truth card. This is facing your truth, you know, really facing the truth in the circumstance that there's really something you might need to do in the situation to bring forth change for yourself. All right, let's get you a few of these tarot cards and see what comes out. What else do we need to know here, please, for this Scorpio reading? Yeah, take action. Absolutely. Look, we need to get out of this stuck energy and take some action. But while you're in this stuck energy, you're also supposed to be getting spiritually enlightened. When you go into the hangman state, the hangman state is a it's a tool. It's a, it's a job. Okay. It looks like we're just hanging out doing nothing, but we're actually getting spiritual information. We're getting enlightened. We're getting any kind of, um, even 3d information. It's a time to reflect and look at the people, places, and things in your life from a different perspective. The hangman puts themselves in this uncomfortable position to see things differently, to see things from another perspective. And to get some kind of, see this information being fed. This is like something being fed to the, them and their head is glowing. All right. This is like spirit giving you that information you need. It's like people giving you that information you need. Wherever you're getting the information, it's coming to you. Um, and it's, that's what's supposed to happen during hangman. You're not supposed to get stuck in hangman like this and be in this waiting game and suffering in silence. You're supposed to be gathering information to get ready to bust a move and do something about it. Knight of Wands. And you're being told, listen, if you're accepting the information that's being given to you, this is going to help you to take action on this to now trust in the higher forces take charge with authority and exchange information exchange energy i'm sorry with the universe with whoever you believe in and create your own abundance and go for it see beyond your current situation as the seer 
and see that there's something better coming as soon as you um, take an, uh, some kind of action. Action definitely needs to be taken here on something. Whatever it is, it's going to be different for each of you, obviously. But you're, whoever you are that will resonate with this, you'll know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, the spirit is saying it over and over and over. Please take action. Please take action. Move it. Let's go. The chariot takes action. The chariot's all about movement. For some of you, this actually could be moving. The three of wands, it's all about manifesting in what you want and then going to get it. The three of wands, not the two of wands. This is when you actually see it and go get it, right? Two of wands is when you're planning it, when you're in hangman mode. Time for chariot, three of wands, knight of wands, all over and over and over again. You're just being told, please take action, please take action, please do something, please get moving. There's no other way for me to put this to you guys. Whoever you are that I am connecting to, they're saying no more waiting, no more suffering in silence. Get those chakras balanced, get your confidence back for sure. These two chakras being out means you've been hit in your confidence. Okay, so... And you, your um, solar plexus is all about your per, your self love, your self acceptance, your emotions, right? Um, your self worth with your sacral chakra. I mean, really, you've got a um, your desire, your creativity. You've been hit in an area that really affects um, your well being and your confidence. So let's get to work on that. As soon as you can see things from a different perspective, see beyond your current situation, see things differently, right? As soon as you do this, you're going to be ready to go full speed ahead. Um, you're just being told over and over again, no more sitting around waiting, suffering in silence and having, being all out of whack here. We want you to do something about it. Okay, because it's going to bring something really nice into your life. I'm going to ask one more question because your reading was so quick. I mean, it's so straightforward, this reading. What comes next for anyone who follows spiritual advice here? What comes next, please? For anyone who will resonate with this and follow spiritual advice. Yeah, look at this. The hermit, dig deep. They want you to discover where's your star. Look at the hermit carrying the star in his lantern. Where is your desires? Where are your hopes and dreams? They want you to see it. The hanged man and the hermit dig deep. Discover who's the snake. Discover who's loyal. That's what the hermit does. Discover what you want. Where are your dreams? They want you to go for something here. Let's get another card. What happens if spiritual advice is followed? Please just one or two. For anyone who's going to resonate, what will happen next? You'll end that cycle. That's all we need, my friends. All right. You will end an old cycle that's been stuck if you follow suit. Discover what it is you want. While you're in this waiting game, this hanged man suffering in silence, do the work. Okay? That's basically what they're saying. We want you to, to discover where your hopes and dreams are. We want you to discover who's going to come on your journey with you. Who can you trust? Who don't you trust? Who's the snake? Who's loyal? what situations are good for you and bad for you and then we want you to go get them and we want you to end an old cycle this was um this probably was an old karmic cycle you've been stuck in you've been waiting for it to change and it's not going to change without you physically doing the work and not only physically but internally a lot of internal work here i feel like you can do this before christmas and be ready for New Year's to end this old cycle and walk into a, walk right into a brand new cycle right there. All right, this is beautiful energy that's available to you if you, you just follow the spiritual advice. I hope whoever needed to get this message is getting it. For those of you that don't resonate with it, please check out your other signs, your, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars, your Jupiter. I mean, my readings are for all placements, so please do that somebody desperately needed this reading and I hope it helps. I feel like if you follow suit, you can wrap up this old cycle by the new year and be full speed ahead, ready to leap into your new cycle. It's beautiful. Chariot overcomes, you know, this is like a victory card. This is like a successful card. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, if there's something you know you need to go after, do in, get involved in or 
leave behind. I feel like most of you need to leave something behind and step into a whole new world, okay? Whole new world is available to you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, slap that thumbs up if you enjoyed this reading. Much appreciated. It helps those readings get out, and I appreciate that. Um, thank you guys for your likes, share, subscribes, your donations, your booking readings, all the things that you guys do to support the channel. So appreciated. Um, please let me know if you need a personal reading. My information is directly beneath this video in the description area. Please reach out to me by email for that. And please put in the subject area of the email personal or private reading so that I know what it's about because I get a ton of mail that doesn't that never gets answered because it's just so much junk mail if I see that it's for a personal reading I will answer you okay guys um have a great holiday have a wonderful month I'm sure I'll be talking to you again I'm going to try to keep up with the daily readings through this very busy holiday time for me and my family but I'll do my best um other than that have a great month talk to you soon bye